So you finished doing your beautiful eye makeup but ended up looking like a panda after a few hours. Or you wanted to do this beautiful eyeshadow look but ended up getting this. If this is the case, then I got you. This is a series where I ask my viewers to send their makeup routine to find any struggles and then share a solution on this video. I've also asked questions about some struggles my viewers go through when doing their eye makeup. So I try to answer the most asked questions on this video. Then let's get started. First common mistake is eyeshadow or eyeliner getting smudged. Whether you put some powder or not, you might have experienced your eyeshadow getting smudged. To tackle this problem, we should start from skincare. If you are a person who applies a thick layer of sunscreen or moisturizer all over your eyes, your eye area will get oily which will make your eyeliner or eye makeup look smudged later. Since moisturizer and sunscreen contain oils, please make sure that you don't apply lots of amount in the areas around your eyes. Even after doing all of your skincare steps, lessening the product on the surface with a tissue or cotton pad will be helpful to not get your eye makeup smudged with the oils. After that, you might put some concealer or foundation all over your eye area. At this stage, please make sure do not put a lot. I like putting a thin layer of the product on the back of my hands to get a thin layer of it. Before putting on eyeshadow, I always make sure to put a translucent powder or any mattifying powder along my lower lash lines since it is the area where my eye makeup gets smudged the most. I take a dense eyeshadow brush and then just put the powder on the exact area where I want. Unless you are going for a certain look when you do your eyeliner, I suggest that you don't put on too much. Most times, we tend to put eyeliner on our upper lashes while tightlining or drawing an eyeliner. So it makes your look smudged. To prevent it getting smudged, make sure to lightly erase excess eyeliner on your lashes with a cotton bud to your liking. Second common mistake is muddy eyeshadow look. I saw many of my followers struggling with eyeshadow getting muddy and I know where it all comes from. It's all about getting too much eyeshadow on your brushes. When I watched Shay's makeup tutorial, I could see that she puts a lot of eyeshadow on her brush by swallowing it. People tend to put too much product on the brush for intense pigmentation, but it'll end up making the look muddy and sometimes patchy. Rather than applying the eyeshadow right away, the best technique which I learned at the Makeup Academy is first, swallow the eyeshadow brush onto the product and coat the product evenly. After that, tap the brush to take out any excess product left on the brush. Now you have a decent amount of product on the brush and you could just apply it all over your lids. If you compare your look applying too much of an eyeshadow right away versus with the technique I use, you could see which one is more delicate and sophisticated. Third common mistake is no transition color for the eyeshadow. When I watched her makeup tutorial, I could see that she put some base eyeshadow on her lids and drew a wing eyeliner right after. It is not wrong, but I think we could make the look more precise. Instead of putting a base eyeshadow which is close to our our natural skin tone and suddenly skip to the eyeliner, I think we need a transition color which can be mid-tone color. What I'd like to do is put a base eyeshadow all over my lids and put a mid-tone brown color on my crease. After that, I use a deep brown eyeshadow to draw a fake eyeliner. If you compare the look with transition color and without, you could see which one looks more delicate. It is a personal preference, so if you like the look without, you could still do it too. Next common mistake is uneven eyeshadow application. There might be two reasons. First one would be the eyeshadow brush that comes with the product. When I watched Jessica's makeup tutorial, I could see her using a sponge tip eyeshadow brush, which we could often get from an eyeshadow palette. If you use the brush, you could get uneven eyeshadow look since it is hard to blend with it. What I'd like to recommend using is this type of more fluffy brush for a more blended look. More you blend it, more sophisticated look will be. 
Second reason of getting uneven eyeshadow look is pressure. If you press your eyeshadow brush too hard on your lids, it will end up making the look too intense that leaves harsh lines. Instead of applying heavy pressure to your lids, try to build up the intensity by applying multiple layers. Take a light layer of the eyeshadow and see how it looks. Like we build up the foundation or concealer coverage by applying multiple layers, it is the same for the eyeshadow. Last common mistake is over blended eyeshadow. When I watched Sefta's makeup tutorial, I could see that she applied the eyeshadow with a fluffy brush all over her eye areas. She used a fluffy rounded shape eyeshadow brush all over her upper lids and along her lower lash lines, which makes her look over blended, which gets everywhere. Also, when I watched Shay's makeup tutorial, she blended her eyeshadow nearly close to her brows. What I could suggest is using a smaller and pointy eyeshadow brush so you could get the shadow on the precise area that you want. Especially if you put on eyeshadow along your lash line, you might need more pointy and eyeshadow brush. If you just use a rounded shape eyeshadow brush, you could get less precise look compared to the pointy eyeshadow brush. Please do not forget to apply inner corner of your lower lash lines and connect all together for a more airbrush finish. Also, when you blend your eyeshadow, please make sure that do not go over the outer V and crease area. Otherwise, the eyeshadow shape would not flatter your eyes and make your look too blended and not sophisticated. So these are all about common makeup mistakes you could make when you do your eye makeup. I hope this video was very helpful. If you haven't watched part 1 and part 2, please go and check them out because I talk about applying concealer, lipstick, eyeliner, and and more than that. Thank you again to all my lovely subscribers who send their makeup tutorial and having the courage to be featured in my video. There is no right or wrong about makeup so please watch this video for your own entertainment because I believe that true joy of makeup is having fun. And please let me know if you have any struggles when you do your makeup. I'd like to know about that and make a video about that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!